Good. Okay, go ahead. Yeah, I can hear you. Um, I thought I'd give it a tutorial on this because it was it's absolutely <laughs> been um well it's not too much to say life changing for me just because it's taken some of the stress out of um mm. I, I use my voice a lot and I, I use my I overuse my voice and this has really helped and it's a help with time as well that the, the amount of time that it takes to do stuff um so um it's pretty new on the scene um there's a massive 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 long thread uh, on a, uh, on one of the forums um which is where i ha came across it it's a, it's like a synth forum um and i was using i, I tried a thing called m voice before and it wasn't very good um and that was only a year ago um uh, and this uh this is just it beggars belief so i'm just going to leap right in and um, there might be people joining but um i'm going to share my screen uh i might as well just share the whole desktop and I'll just share sound as well. Okay, so you can still hear me. Yes, we can. Yes. Indeed. And can you can you hear? Um, uh, <clears throat> let me let me just see. Can you hear that? We yes. can. I can. I can. Yes. yes. Good. Yeah. Good stuff. Yeah. Okay. So. Um, this is I use logic. That's what I use to 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 uh, arrange and compose, um, and then I export all of my files uh, into Dorico to um, to get them ready for publishing. Um, uh, now, there's, there's several, I'm going to show you several ways to do this, but um, I'm just going to play. I'm just actually going to play uh, directly into the 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 thing itself for a minute. So this is the. Um, if you give me two seconds, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it from scratch so you can see. I don't I've got a massive screen here, so uh, sorry sorry if you can't see much in the way of details. But this is this is more a, just a general how to how I go about this. Um, so I'm gonna add the the synthesizer plugin, which is this one here, and this is the interface now. Over this side, over on the right-hand side, you've got various windows which you can close or open as you like. Um, you can you can have them all all open at the same time, but you've got that doesn't leave you with much room um, to to actually work within. Um, now this is I've got I've got uh, six voices I think installed, um, but you could just have one. Uh, and this is where this is your track, so it follows a, a linear kind of pattern as well, um, mm. but 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 like most door uh, interfaces. Um, and uh, this is here. We've got no no vo voice, so I'm going to use I'm going to use uh, Solaria because I like Solaria. Um, so they're named by name. They, by they've got names. names they've got yes. <laughs> so the names <laughs> I've got here are uh, I've got Ang Chow, uh, Kevin, <laughs> um, Natalie. Right. Uh, nine zero, who is a rock, uh, a, a American kind of rock voice, um, uh, Wayner and Solaria. There are other ones as well you can get, um, and that's that's probably a, it's about eighty quid for a voice, I think. Um, uh, and so what's the difference between those voices? Is one more classic, classical than others, or for example? Or... No, well, they're just got different timbres. So I'll 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 oh. so, some of them female, some of them are male. Um, yeah. uh, they're mostly pla They're mostly. Um, uh pop um middle of the yeah. road kind of stuff mm. it's it's um it, none of them are really suited ter terribly suited to classical um but that uh, that i've seen anyway um ang Zhao, uh i don't know if that's how you pronounce it but that is, it's got a slight accent um they they most of them sing mandarin as well if you happen to want to <laughs> want to compose wow. or arrange in mandarin um that's i mean it's a chinese company um there's a Japanese voice as well, and they're bringing out new ones all the time. If I stick with oh. Solaria for a minute, and I'm just going to show you what we can do here. So I'm just going to literally drag a note in for, for a start. So um, I'm going to do something. This is not how I work. Um, I'll do that on but bar two. I'm just going to do that, and I'm going to do that, and that. And let's see what that sounds like. So it defaults, la. sorry, it defaults to la, and then wow. you can you can just type in. 
Sounds um, good. Sorry. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna move those so they're actually backed up to each other. Um, so there's no back gap in between them. I will oh, I see. Go. Okay. Got it. Got it. Um, then you could then you could, for example, th so this is quite a slow way of doing things. I don't work like this. Um, but I could right, right click on the track, I could duplicate it, and I could choose a different voice. I could choose Wayner. Uh, now, singing in unison. I will yeah. go. Now, I think, I think she might have been set. Let me just check one of the voices. She is, yes. So over here, I can see that Wayne, for some reason or other, has defaulted to Mandarin Chinese there. So I'm going to change that to English. I will go. Now I'm going to move the panning so that you, so that you are a bit more obvious as to which one is which. If you've got headphones on, you should hear this in stereo. I yes. Wow. Now I'm going to move. Move those around a little bit. I will go. Oops, sorry. I didn't mean, I meant to dra drag those further than I did. But the, the the fact that you can actually just Go do that, the fact that you can actually just copy and paste and then just move them around, this is what I was in my I was envisioning. That's incredible. Yeah. So so yeah. it's as I say, this is not the this is not the quickest way to do this. The best way mm -hmm. to do this is actually to use MIDI files, um, and then so you you work with your you, the music until you've got it right, and then yes. you then you hone the, the lyrics. Now I'll show you that in a second, but I'm just gonna yeah. Okay, so I think that's right. Anyway, um, so that's one way of doing it. Um, I then I'm going to do something different. Actually, I'm now going to uh, I'm going to close that. Uh, get rid of that for a minute, uh, and then go back into it again because that, it's that's actually the quickest way to get rid of something that you don't want right so this is now empty again now I've done happy birthday here uh, so I've got a little arrangement of happy birthday so I'm gonna quickly this is this is correct I've got if I, if I look at the score of this um, I'm just gonna move this off into another screen for a second um, so I here's my score so these are this has got the lyrics in there already so I'm just gonna quickly export each track as a MIDI file happy birthday mm. soprano I uh, just need to do it in the right place though, which is not in there. Uh, happy birthday. I've deliberately not kind of pla um, done this in advance because I want to show you in real time how long this takes. Happy birthday, alto, MIDI. I'm just exporting each track as a MIDI file. Happy birthday, tenor. And then, happy birthday bass. And then what you can do is you can go into, you go back to your, back to your file, and then you can import as tracks. And then I do this in reverse order. So I'll start with the basses, just because then it comes up in the right order um, when I'm ready. And then import as tracks again. Happy birthday, tenor. Clean it. Uh, import as tracks again. You can't yet import them all in one go. 
uh, you have to do it okay. track by track. But that doesn't really take a very long time. And soprano. And then you just need to, once you've imported those, you then just give them each a, 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 a name, a, you know, a, a voice. So I'm going to give voice, so, yeah. soprano to so, Solaria. Wayne can have the alto. I'm going to give, oh, sorry, wrong one. There's a, there's a blank one as well. There's always a blank one until you delete it. Um, yeah, I'm going to have Solaria. I'm going to have Wayner. I'm going to have, uh, let's have Ang An Chow, and then I'm, let's have Kevin on bass. Now, I haven't done anything else. I, I, the, the lyrics were in. This is exactly, this is without any help at all. Straight right. off the box. Ha birthday to you. Ha birthday to you. Ha birthday dear someone ha <laughs> birthday to you okay. so I, it needs a little bit of work um but that will take let's just see how long it takes um to to make that right so that's not doing what i wanted to do come on okay it doesn't want to do it um it's the p that's missing isn't it yeah it's there yeah um, but let's just see ha so we just need to put it in now it's there um oh okay p what it sometimes does uh, i've noticed is it so sometimes with hyphenating hyphenating when you it doesn't do it when you um if you play like i did in the beginning when i when i played the notes in and then i put the 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 words in um, there's no problem there. When it yeah. imports hyphens or um, sometimes punctuation, uh, it makes mistakes. And and all you have to do is just you put you kind of put the extra bit in. Sometimes it changes your to you and then r, and then right. um, once as soon as you change it properly back to what it's supposed to be, they all come right. Um, so you just have to do a little bit of messing around with it. So let's just see what this sounds like now on this particular part, which is Solaria. I'll mute, I'll mute the other ones for a minute. Happy birthday yeah. to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear someone. Happy birthday to you. Okay, so we're nearly there. I just need to do that in the other parts as well. Um, but what I also would like to do here is to extend that ha so it runs into the other ones. It's not... Oh, man. I think I actually need to restart my... Possibly my machine because it's being a little bit silly. Uh, let's see what that's like now. Um... Come on. Do you see what it's doing? It's not, um, this is not a problem with the program. This is, this is my machine. I'm not wanting to go on there. No. Damn it, there we are. All right, so let's see what that sounds like. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear someone. Happy birthday to you. Okay, now sounds I'll, I'll, good. <laughs> yeah, it does. I'll um, let me just quickly make those changes to the other parts as well. Um, where is it? So we need a P there, and we need to extend that a bit to there. Extend that. You'll always find things that you have to edit, um, yes. just because, just because that's the na the nature of, of the, the way this works. <laughs> yeah, the na the way this works, uh, it is, uh, um, it is sometimes not clear. Uh, it's the language is so complicated that of course you have to to make those changes sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, I, I said I think before uh, only the word only. Yes. You, obviously, the word only is too 
two syllables and you have to hyphenate it. Um, so that will come up as on and lie um, mm. because you might want on lie. Um, so you just have to make it clear that that's not what you want and you want own. You can see that the, the actual phonemes come up above. So when I type in that, you can see P, P I don't know if you can see that. Um, P is P I Y there. Um, it's the it's the way that the 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 phonemes are are spelt, um, and so you have control over that as well. Um, P, uh, we're nearly there. Not P. Oops, damn it! Hang on, undo that. It's very clever. I have it to is say. really clever. Mm -hmm. um, I'll show the. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing yet. Um, mm. And then lastly, this one. And what you can, I don't know if you can see this uh, here, but but because this is a multi multi output one with with several lines, you can see the lengths of the lines above in, in very mm -hmm. thin lines there. So you can see if you if you need to to, um, to drag a, a a word so it's the same length as another part, you can you're able to see where that where that is. You um, can see there's a guide. Yes. Yeah. So that's that's the that guide is from the mm -hmm. other parts. Okay, okay, that's good to know. Um, I've I have found this so intuitive to use. Um, haven't really had to do that much. Um, uh, well, could you do the edits on one part and then you could just basically because I know well I know I noticed in some of your arrangements you've got moving parts. Um, sometimes if you've just got um, kind of uh, what's the word homophonic harmonies, I guess. Um, well, it depends could... what's more. Yeah, yes, you could. If you had, if you didn't have, um, if you didn't have, to, it, it depends where you want to make the uh, the the work. For me, this is the best way to do this because there's not yes. that many changes. Um, right. If if uh, I find it easier to drag the parts around elsewhere uh, in, before I make the MIDI file, here's the whole whole lot. Happy birthday to you. Something's wrong there with that bass part. I think I see what's happened. Right. Uh, it's sometimes because it's monophonic. It doesn't. It. It doesn't like when uh, notes overlap. Uh -huh. um, so I just have to trim the end of that one there. I don't know why that. Why it's decided to do that. Um, where is? Hmm. don't know what that's done there happy birthday to you happy birthday to you okay so can you see those ones have gone short um yeah so happy with so birth some for some reason or other birth has become very short short so i'm just going to pull that out i'm going to pull that out the other thing you have to remember is that these AI voices don't need to breathe. Um, so if yeah. um, so you could very easily forget to have any um, uh, phrasing. I wondered about that at all. Yeah. So what you have to end up, do, you have to I've, I've I've you have to edit the breath, the breaths in so that actually they do breathe. And so that your your singers, um, if you're if you're writing for singers, so they, they actually know when to breathe. Um, because I had one come, person come up and say, "Oh my God, I th I, tr I thought that was all supposed to be done in one breath. That whole two lines of stuff. And it was it, it, there's no way she could have done it um, <coughs> in one go. So that ought to be it. Um, I heard that you can add. I think you can add breath. You can add like breath mark, uh, breath sound effects, can't you? Or you can aspiration. Yeah. Um, there's yeah. there's. I haven't really experimented m much with that because I haven't needed to. Let me just right. play this. This is this is now done. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear someone. Happy birthday to you. So ideally, it needs a little bit of help with it still, but it's it's pretty much there, mm -hmm. um, very quickly. Um, uh, I'm going to save that actually because I might that might be quite useful. Um, uh, so, questions so far? Um, so I know I was going to, sorry, I was just going to ask. So obviously 
you've done shown us this kind of acapella stuff. So um, I don't know about other people here, but I know for me, I would uh, be using um, a track, a commercial track to build the choir arrangement round. So I'm thinking it, correct me if I'm wrong, what I would do is I would have to play in the parts on a piano while the track is playing. Um, yep. And then from there, that was the only way I'd be able to get these parts in time with the track. And then I would have to then add the words to each of those tracks. The reason I was asking before about doing one track at a time, because I thought if I'm doing a homophonic arrangement, I could just do work on one track, yep. get the words in, and then just copy and paste it to the other the other tracks, basically, and then yeah, just you drag, drag the notes around and make the changes. You totally could do that. Do, how do you mm. work at the moment in terms of with, with the backing? Do, is your, are your, do you do the scores in Logic, or do you do them in something else, of alias? I do them in Sibelius, but I I just stand there and sing into a mic and record. I don't like I don't import anything from Sibelius. I don't use MIDI files or anything. Okay, um, the way you would yes, if you wanted to, you if you wanted to make the backing tracks, um, if you wanted to do them with within Logic with, alongside the backing track, um, yes. then yes, you would just need to play in the parts, and you could totally get the words right. Um, you know, to save a bit of time, you could do that. It doesn't take very long. You, it's just, it's literally, um, you know, if you've got, like, I've got a, I've got a, a fairly um, complex version of, uh, I think I played it to you, um, Don't Feel Like Dancing. Um, yes. And it's, it's got lots of, like, the tenors and basses are doing a completely different thing from, from the sopranos and altos. Um, now, obviously, I, I do the whole, I do all my backing tracks as, as well. So, so it's all, all done in front right. of Logic and then it's exported to D Dorico and then it's brought back again. But um, I would still probably just play those parts in and then type those lyrics in. I might do yes. the sopranos and then copy that into the altos and edit. It's a slightly long-winded way of is. doing it, but you yeah. totally could do it and it wouldn't take you very long. The, the typing the lyrics doesn't really take long because it's just, instead of using the space bar, you use the tab. Um, right. Uh, and so, and you once you get, also, once you get used to the phonemes that it uses and what it's like and how, how it's likely to, to translate it, you can just type that directly yeah. in. Um, so I would be thinking, in, usually I would, you know, Lee, the, the the syllable Lee so from only will always be L Y L Y will always be um will, L E E yes exactly because yes. otherwise it'll yeah. be it'll be lie um, okay and and for most of us we might only need to download and purchase I mean well for me I would just probably use the same voice like Natasha for three parts that's all yes. I'm, well, I'm only doing S S S S S A basically yeah. yeah yeah well let me show you um okay. let me show you something yeah. else because um. Uh, where's it gone? Share screen. Um, so if you go back here, um, let me just mute the other parts here, um, and we'll just listen to Solaria again for a minute. Happy birthday to you. Now, you could, you could. That's Solaria just as she comes out of the box, right? Right. But then, um you could let's have a look and see we've got various things here uh what do i want uh, yeah so let, we can play with the sliders here can you i don't know if, how well you can see that i can't yeah. make it any bigger no it's uh, okay don't but we can we can change the breathiness that we use for solaria so let's just put the let's i'll just do, go extremes here happy birthday to you or take it down yeah. Happy birthday to you. Now that's actually not made much of a difference, but if I put the tension up in the voice. Yeah. Happy birthday. Uh, let's let's go for gender. Let's take her gender a bit more masculine. Happy birthday to you. Okay. Even yeah. more. Happy birthday to you. So she yeah, starts really, suddenly, that's changed suddenly bit, starts to sound a bit like a tenor. Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, yes. Yeah. Move the tone a bit. Happy birthday to you. And the trouble is, she's now sounding a bit less human in my mind. <laughs> yeah, sure. But I'm, I'm going extremes here. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, so. Happy birthday to <laughs> you. I'm Slight, slightly sm smurfish there. Um, 
but as I say, this is extremes. But you could, with some very subtle adjustments. Happy birthday to you. You know, in the mix, that would be absolutely fine. Yes. Um, uh, so I have doubled. I've sometimes doubled um, when I've needed a, a more of a more of a sort of ensemble sound. I've doubled uh, the Kevin, the bass, with Solaria, but with the gender sl slider over to the right, and it just get, you don't need you don't really hear her on her own. You just hear an ensemble sound. Um, and if I can find that, I will play it to you. Um, okay. Let me see. So let me just save this and open up one day like this. Do you know, that's funny. We've just started. We just started that two weeks ago. How funny. Um, let me see where it is. You're doing the same. You're doing an arrangement of it as well. How funny. Yeah, well, we're, we're, we mostly do stuff in, um, in five parts. Um, and we've got a big, big tenor and bass section right see i haven't um, got any men's i haven't got any separate men's voices i just we only have a few men and i they, i just they just have sing an octave lower in alto or bass and that's it <laughs> it's just easier can you hear me yes okay uh it, i I always disappear slightly for a second because my sound, my voice is always coming through logic. Let me just work that. There we are. Right. So this is um, what I, the way I tend to work this is I, I actually bounce the, I export those once those, once the files are ready and I've got them sounding like they like, I bounce them out into actual WAV files right. so that I can then process them exactly how I want them and I could for example send them to somebody else and they could hear them if they even if they don't have the software um so this is um well this is this is what how it comes hang on a minute I've gotten for beauti wow. beautiful um, there. If you look at what I've, I don't know if you can see how well you can see this. Um, but I got lo looking like a bu b b y o o beautiful, di yeah, beautiful. Now you can also um, you you can make really really subtle adjustments to um, to the um, the phonemes. So for example, uh, I found that. Sometimes D is too too much like a D, and T is too much like a T, and then you can have the D X, which is the the sort of a, a softer softer T um, kind of sound in the middle. So you can you have complete control over that. Um, you can you can do you can change the vibrato. You can do, I mean I'll, I'll do that on another file in a second, and I'll show you um, show you how you can mess around with it. Um, but um, if we go if we go on a bit. Um, so let's go to the when it's a bit more exposed here. One tell me. Hang on a minute. Let's look here. Yeah, let's go back a little bit. Hang on. A 
beautiful day. So there's quite a lot of processing going on at the moment, so it's struggling a little bit. That, that those recordings that all of those vocal parts took me an extra probably out on top of the of the scoring that I would normally be doing it probably added three hours to yeah to, to everything rather than the two days that it normally takes me to to you know get all the uh, to, to record the parts myself and my wife and then and then yes it would do all the editing that comes with that Yes. Um, do you do all so, the? Because do you do all the pitch correction and everything the way I do? <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. I use I use Melodyne. So, so yeah. Same. Like, same Melodyne. Time. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Debbie was going to ask a question. I think. Oh, I I was going to ask questions. That's why. Um. <clears throat> so what we were hearing because I'm I'm looking at the this is the synthesizer V, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, and you've plugged that in. <clears throat> so excuse me to Logic. Yeah. But we're also hearing the track that is in Logic. You is are. That right? What am I hearing? You're well. Everything. Everything's. Everything is done in Logic. So, um, the the back. I've done the backing track. I've done the. Um, you're hearing. Uh, do you mean the, just the vocals or? Well, so 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 what we heard then, because we heard this lovely all the orchestration and all the voices. That yeah, that's, that's all that's, in Logic. That's all in Logic. Yeah. But the but when you because because I've never used Logic, but when you. When you use the what's it what's it called? Is it called synthesizer V? I just call synth five. Call it synth five. Synth five. Let's <laughs> be amongst friends. Um, so when you have synth five as the plug in, yeah, then it's it's playing from synth five, is it into Logic? Because because we we watched the synth five window there, didn't we? Yes, it's just the the synth five is within Logic. So the, so all all that's happening, um, it the. Jamie will understand this a bit more because it, because this is more like Melodyne. Um, the way the way that Melodyne works, uh, pitch cor pitch correction software, is you sort of import the the, the sound in, and then Logic yes. controls Logic controls the playback within Synth Five. Mm -hmm. Okay, so so as you move back, um, if you look, uh, this is you can see both windows there. So if I if I move, I'm going to bar. This is in the Logic window. I'm moving to bar forty nine. <laughs> Now you can't actually see it on there because it hasn't. It's there, right. I'm scrolling along. So that's where it's it's going from. Synth five is a plugin. Yeah, yeah it's a, it it, it okay. does actually work as a standalone program as well. Apparently, I've never used it. Oh, like does that. it? Okay. Yeah. Well, I downloaded the evaluation version that's free. Yeah. And it is a, right. it is a standalone. I tried exporting a file from Sibelius. Yeah. Um, but I I couldn't get it to be like a single track, like it brought all the tracks in, but I could only work on one track at a time. So I got very confused with How it. How did you export it, Debbie? It just said export as MIDI files. It didn't give me the option to make it separate. Um, okay, so that, that'll be a setting within Sibelius. Okay. So you can, you can. Um, I don't use Sibelius, but I, in Dorico, when you, you so the, the, the way that you would do that is to, there's a setting in Dorico which would, um, you can split them you split them out as one big midi file or as or as individual midi oh. files um oh. so it'll, it'll be something to do with that and then you can bring then you can bring your file in yeah because when i did that it brought the lyrics in as well yes already in yeah exactly which is yeah. what which is why so i i used to just i didn't used to use a, another program for typesetting but since i've been publishing my arrangements um, I, I I decided I need to do this properly, so I, I gave got gave myself a crash course on Do on Dorico. I use it all the time now. I love Dorico. Um, I haven't got into it it's, yet. It's yet. amazing. Um, it was created by the by the guys who built Sibelius. Uh, they were all mm. fired by uh, by Avid, and then they uh, Steinberg hired them the same weekend, and then they so basically go and yeah. build build another program. 
um, and so they learned from their mistakes. Um, so, um, so the way I, I, I my, my process is slightly faffy, but it, it's, I, I don't regret it because it gives me the, be the best of both worlds. I, I use logic to do the, to put the, to do the notes just to do all the notes and I'm, I'm very comfortable very very I've been using logic for 30 years so I, yeah. I, I know just how to you know exactly how to do everything in it um, so I do that and then I export to Dorico I put the lyrics in in Dorico because they're much quicker to do it to do that um, and it's much more accurate and looks better um, and then I get that ready for publishing uh, I don't make the final changes until I've actually use this now because then this gives me a realization i can hear if i've done anything wrong um which i occasionally have i've missed something or missed a lyric or or, or whatever so then i then i export it as an xml file music xml file back into logic again um and then i export each of those xml files as a midi file now it sounds really faffy but it only t it only adds about 10 minutes um mm. to a, to a process which then gives me um the best result that I can with <clears throat> before I've done any editing. Um, so it's so, fairly, fairly good. Yeah. So better than, than what happens if you export the MIDI file in, as individual tracks from Dorico then? Is it not as good as? Now, logic? what was it? I think it was that the, at, at the moment, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't found the slider on Dorico that lets me export a MIDI file with lyrics. It didn't do that. It, it will. Do, there is an option somewhere, I'm sure. But doing the XML file with lyrics worked perfectly. Um, maybe I'll I'll look into that because I could do with s slimming down the workflow a little bit. Um, but just doing it this way may, immediately worked. Um, so uh, yes, it's a, the the XML the XML file includes lyrics, but the MIDI file didn't seem to want to. So I couldn't quite work that out. Um, but uh, yeah that's that's yeah. that's probably fairly easy to sort out um let me uh, also show you uh, what you can do i'm going to open up i think i'll open up happy birthday again i will disappear for a second sorry uh just in terms of vo voice close uh don't see so um if we look back in here And if we just listen to Solaria again. Happy birthday to you. Okay, now I'm going to edit. Um, let's play with let's play with a few things here. I'm going to edit the pitch deviation. Um, so this is when you can do vibrato. Um, so you can actually edit this in. So. There's th there's there's what she's doing. This is exactly what she's doing. Happy birthday to you. So I might want to change that and go. Let's be extreme about it. Ah. Happy birthday to you. Oh, sorry. Wrong. wrong I'm on the wrong track. Actually, let's undo that. <laughs> I was. Ah. I was on I was on the bass track um, doing that. That's why. Um, where is she gone? I don't Happy like working in plugins. <laughs> there we are. Yeah, it's. I I prefer standalone whenever I can. But <laughs> right, let's try that. Happy birthday to you. Happy <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you could hear that. Um, do it slightly. Do you, do you yes. Richard, do you use, were you using Melodyne as a plugin? Yes. See, I've never, I've, I don't do it. I do it all separately and then I export it and then I import it into Logic. Uh, I, just can't I find it really, really quick, quick, really quick to use it. Plugin. Do you? Do you? No, I've, I've, I've done that. To you. <laughs> okay, so mm. she's, 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 she's gone off the boil there a little bit. Um, um, but you can really, I mean, you can mess around with, you know. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not that you would need to, but you can, what I'm, I guess the, the point is that you can control that vibrato <laughs> really well. Um, so you could, for example, do that. Happy birthday to you. 
so you delay the vibrato you, there's other ways yeah. of doing that as well um or you could slide up, up to a note or if it's if if they've if she's decided to slide up to that note and you didn't want to do that you can you can control that as well um so i i mean it's it's so that the the level of control that you have on this uh, oh yeah that was another thing i was going to show you um so with the happy um so you can see there it's i don't know if you can see the phoneme but it's it's h and then it, it's hh and then it's aa now that's quite it's a it's almost harpy birthday happy right yeah if i change that oops i'm on the wrong sorry i'm on the wrong bit um let me just get off of that again uh, go back to that right so if i go to change that phoneme to and i change it to ae happy birthday hear the difference yes well I'll, I'll play one and then the other happy birthday to you happy birthday it's happy and happy right the a the a the heart the heart and the ha yeah. yeah so the ae is much much yeah. better for this um but then you could kind of um so let's take the the, the p bit there's you've got control there let me just find it in here um so over down the bottom here i've got duration this is within the phonemes the two phonemes are p the p and then i y and then you've got the duration of the p and the i y and then you've the strength of the p and the i y so i could take i could say right the p is a bit um let, it's a bit too pronounced so let's just take take the duration of that off and then maybe the strength down a bit as well so now it's happy birthday happy birthday oh now she's done something funny here with the with that so let's change that again oh damn it sorry this is where it gets a little bit um one moment caller here we go um let's change that one happy birthday happy birthday it's 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 a much less strong um uh syllable now but she's seems to sing with a little bit of an accent don't you think yes they uh, obviously uh, do they all do or they all have their own yeah they have all have their own one if i if i right. bring in kevin so kevin sounds like this happy birthday to you now that oh, doesn't yes. sound great hang on a minute no. that, that's <laughs> that's that could be much better birthday right that should be it's like the americanized isn't it yeah Happy birthday. But th that's funny because he's coming up with day, uh, but, not sounding a bit, a little bit odd. Um, happy birthday to you. I'm not sure. Missing why the D out. out. Yeah. So let's. Is it let because me you haven't? It's because you've blended in one into the other. I Shouldn't be. I haven't. Happy birthday. Hmm. Maybe it's just his dialect accent. I usually what happens is I mess around a little bit with at the end of the word. Happy birthday to There we go. Yeah. So that, it, yeah. that works now. Yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Yeah. Happy birthday. Yeah, that's it just needs a little bit of t uh, messing around with. Um Yeah, so that's that's kind of what I'm uh, I'm using a lot at the moment. Um I'm, I'm, I just I will not not use this again, basically, because it's 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 changed my life a bit, really. Yes, um, I think uh, it would do. And I think we'd all have different ways of doing it. You're using different platforms, you're using you know Dorico, and then you're using XML files. And actually, for both yourself and Debbie, because Debbie was talking about the MIDI as well, I I wouldn't be using any MIDI whatsoever because I'm using like commercial backing tracks that I'm shaping the choir arrangements around. So that I would wouldn't be using MIDI. So why um uh if you use Logic, um mm -hmm. why would you not? So you what I would uh, what I would have said to you was that you could um. So I'm going to try and multitask here for a second, uh, just so that I can get. Uh, where is it? No, I, I can't multitask. I'm so terrible at multitasking. Um, <laughs> there we are. That's what I wanted. Um, if um, 
So if it, if it was me, I think what I would do is I would you could drag a, drag your backing tracks, your commercial backing tracks into Logic, and then you start mm. the actual arranging process within there. Then you're playing them in any way because you've got to you've got to put them into Sibelius. So you well, might as well put them in, put it in in, in well, Logic. Well, well, no, because I'm no because with Sibelius I'm just writing out I'm I'm arranging it fully notated with piano score and choir arrangements, uh, and then I'm just. And then I'm, I, I'm just bringing in a, a a backing track into Logic, and then I'm just vocally multi-tracking uh, the arrangement. Yeah, I get that. But you can, I mean, m with Logic has the has the ability to um to even out. So even if this thing's not recorded to a click, you can make it recorded to a click. So you can, br if you've got the approximate tempo that it was at, you can make it firmly in one twenty BPM or whatever you need it to right. be. Um, so you can. Uh, you know, it it would it might require a slight change in workflow, um, but yes. that would be an option. Um, but mm. but you could just do it. The you know, just play those parts in, and it would certainly. I I mean, that would probably take me an extra half an hour to do that. I don't know. You know, yes. I don't know how. But but an extra half an hour on top on top of the of the two hours that you might then take. Yes. Get, getting them all sounding nice, but. You know, it's a small price to pay, really. For, for I think, for um, yeah, uh, for for the, for having your voice back. Um, it's not really about the time, is it? It's really about the. It's about what is required to produce these tracks. And as you quite rightly said, I mean, for me, I can only at the moment I can only record my arrangements on a Monday to leave space from my, uh, you know, from the, I do four nights. Yeah. So I need Friday, Saturday, Sunday to rest my voice. I can record on a Monday. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. That, so it's all about timing or I try and do everything between terms so that it's all done, basically. Alison, what's your situation? What do you, what would you use this for? Um, I think because I do a lot of work in, a, in schools. Um, so for me, I often, um, a lot of the, teachers that I work with are not specialists, they're not singers. Um, yeah. I kind of go in, do a project in a school and then leave the teachers mm. to carry on teaching. So they often need individual lines recording. I spend a lot of time having to sing and my voice is slowly, <laughs> it's yeah. getting tired. Yeah. And so for me, if, it, if I can save some of my voice and, and do it this way, then that would be a better quality for them to be, to be the working. The other that. thing, the other thing you'd find you could do is that you can um, realistically then do, um, I don't know whether it's an issue, but where you could do male voices as well, um, because it's a co yeah. very common thing that women really struggle to, to because because men then, uh, they don't know some, some if they're, if, so certainly if they're not very experienced, they don't know, they can't make that octave shift in their head or no. whatever. And so I have, um, I know I've got various colleagues who, who really oh. struggle to do bass parts for their arrangements. Yeah. Um, things like that. Um, yes, absolutely. That's that's the that's the thing. It's how to record yes. a rehearsal track for a male singer in your choir. Yes. So I I mean I tend to sing everything at the same register. Yeah. So if there is there's is the middle C, I'll be singing the C above middle C. So right. I'm at a high end of my register. They're at a high end of their yes. register. Yeah, they yeah. have to and, translate it down. Yes, and they hit because if I sing down here like this, then they all sing down yes. there like yeah, that. Yeah, and, that's, yeah, exactly. and it's just yeah. um, no, no. so I so I record my tracks how I run my rehearsals. But I've I, I've been trying and trying different things and like my my loop pedal vocal processor, which you can do a pitch pitch octave shift, but it just it just sounds robotic. Yeah, um, yeah, that's yeah, the trouble. Will do, and I mean, I, I've it's the same with me when I've when I've tried to do the, some of the the high parts. When if I either my, if Kate isn't oh. available, then I you know I, I I'm doing it either either in falsetto or in in um or just using Logic to to do it. But it sounds sounds really weird. Um, uh, th this it's is the soprano parts I struggle with I trying know, to hit it, those. You know, when you've got top never knees, again, knees, Jamie. Never again. Screeching. I know. This is why I'm so excited about this. Yes. Really. You need Solaria, Solaria. She sounds good. This is um. Like so this her. is a this is an arrangement. Um, I I've messed around with the voices. So there's three parts on each voice now. So there's there's soprano, three sopranos, three altos, three tenors, oh. and three basses on this. Great to the choir. <laughs> Hang on, that's actually sorry. That's still got the original on there as well. It doesn't need to not have. I haven't got round to recording the rest of the backing track yet. 
Wake up in the morning with the head like what you do. Like what you do. used to be the life, but I don't need another one. You're like it enough and carrying on. You wear them gowns. So how come I feel so lonely when you're up getting down? You can hear that the dancing is it? Like dancing. It's a bit dancing. Dancing. Be no. home with the one in the I could I could get that better. Now yeah. I could get I could get that better, but I can't be bothered bothered to be honest. Um, uh, if I, I I've got the three parts there, so if I oops, sorry. I need to solo myself as well so that you can hear me uh, solo that. Um, if I solo the sopranos together. Oh, dancing today. Don't feel like dancing, dancing. Even if I find nothing better to do, don't feel like dancing. Altos. Don't feel like dancing, dancing. Rather be home with the one in the bed to dawn with you, boo boo. Uh, tenors coming up. Bases. Okay, so you kind of cities come and cities go, etc. So you you can you can really get a, a really good sound from this. I I've been so impressed with it. Um, worth every penny. <laughs> Um, it's not that expensive, really, it's really relatively, not. to what you get, is it? It's and really what, not. You, so you pay for the platform, you pay for the software, the plug-in, and how much is that? I pay, so the, um, I can't remember exactly what it is right now, but I paid three hundred and eighty-seven dollars for the plug-in and three voices. Oh so wow! I, I bought Wayna, Solaria, and Kevin. <laughs> and can you get to preview these voices before you buy them? You, there are various demos around um, on right. um, uh, on YouTube. If you look for Synthesizer V, uh, yeah. Dream Tonics is probably an easier thing to look for. Um, yes. the, 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 um, and then, or if you look for Solaria, um, if you look, for, like, if you search on YouTube for Solaria Dream Tonics, there's some astounding performances. Some people have got too much time on their hands, um, and they the programming that they go into to get. Um, there's there's a version of all by myself, which is phenomenal. It and it's really hard to hear that it's that it's not that it's not a real person. Um, uh, so so uh, yeah, I wasn't that impressed with Natalie's voice. Um, and nine zero nine zero is it's kind of Nickelbacky kind of kind of like quite a th quite a reedy rock american sort of sound um i don't r it's it's fine for a an ensemble part but it, i wouldn't really use it particularly for a for a solo um or maybe i'll eat my words at some point they're bringing it there's another one as well there's another guy and i can't remember his name now but i'm going to probably get him because he's a bit of a richer bass um and kevin's kevin's not Kevin's a bit weedy on some of the the bottom notes, mm. and I need a, I need a bit of a a better bass. I could be a, I mean, I could I could always beef it up as well, um, but I'd rather not at the moment. Yeah. So can I just ask? So when we were listening to the voices there, yeah. was that how they are in the plugin, or have you then added compression and? I've stuff added some. Uh, what have I done? Um, let me have a look. Um, I have, uh, I have just added a bit of reverb, but, um, and let me just hang on. Where am I? I can't quite see that part of the track. Oh no, sorry, I'm in the wrong place. Um, all I have done there. On the, in this case, all I've done is played with. I've um, I've used gain. I I do gain staging. 
um i don't know if you know what that is but it's it's a way of um mixing um so that you don't get distortion in your mix um i i professional engineer so i i, I do a lot of uh, fairly fairly complex stuff on this i haven't done it um i haven't used a lot of um of extra um processing on these parts here at in fact, none apart from gain um and i've just put um what have i done i've done yeah i've just put a bit of reverb on on these ones and then i've put a, a plug in at the end of a, a sort of a mastering plug in just to just to make it sound a little it's, bit more together it's for some reason why you don't well you do your own because you do all your own backing tracks i mean the amount of work makes my eyes water truly because i do them better <laughs> yeah <laughs> because do, but you do that you do you have choose your own key then as well i guess yeah. yeah so for example one day like this we do a f uh, we do in um uh yeah we do in a completely different key we do it in c not in f right yeah um, because yeah. that's the way i've I've, I've arranged it because it, i yes. i like it like that of um, course yeah. but my son my son is a is a very very good multi-instrumentalist so he, he's a ph phenomenal drummer wow. um wow. And bass player um and guitarist and i do the keyboard parts and then uh, together together we sort of work together you know we t work together on it quite a lot right um, so th yeah i will always do my backing tracks because i don't yeah. I don't want to be, you know, I, the, the the exception is if I have found um, the original instrumental track where I will sometimes uh, use that. So, for example, I found the stems for Somebody to Love. Um, yeah. the, I found the, the actual, the bass part, the electric guitar parts, the yes. drum parts. I found yes. them all. Uh, and then I just use those because I'm like, well, if I've got Queen playing my backing, <laughs> then that, that yeah, be. absolutely. <laughs> um, I, I found another Queen song. I was... Um, um these those were the days the, uh these are the days one? of our lives yes i found that i found the original stems to that and used that a few years ago but, yeah, yeah there, there's there's that there, you can find stuff as it, it, it's around mm. I, I prefer it if you if you can um if if it is the actual stems rather than just a stereo instrumental yes. backing because then you've got you know to, yeah. um because sometimes obviously i write the qu the choir part takes over you know maybe the guitar solo or something like that so yes so yeah. i would like to mute you know, put the guitar down in the mix a bit or something like that so it's yes, nice when you can do that. i agree but yes, which is absolutely. why sometimes then yeah. we'll, re we'll recreate it from scratch um yeah. but um yeah any other any other questions i, I was hoping there'd be a few more, more people because no. 10 people signed up for it but <laughs> <laughs> there we are. <laughs> I, th I think it's because you said you'll you'll put it on your YouTube channel, so I think ah uh, yeah. Thought yeah. Oh, I can watch it later. Well, I just but want to I say just... thank you very much. It's been yes. very very interesting to and enlightening. Thank you. And, uh, very welcome. Life, ch life changing, as you say, life changing. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you want to know? No, I'm all right. I don't think so. <laughs> cool. <laughs> all right. No, then. I think I'm I'm good. Good. Oh, thank, thank you, you. Much, Richard. Yes, Very welcome. Thank you. Hope hope it's been uh, hope it's been useful and um, Very useful. Yeah. fabulous. And where where will this be posted? For I'll stick it on the um. Well, I'll put a link in the in the yeah. in the groups in the choir groups. Um, Great. And you can feel, feel okay. Free and then you you yeah. said about we buy you a coffee. Oh, I'll stick it on. Be... I'll stick it on the description of the YouTube. Uh, yes. Thing there. That's the. That's absolutely. That's the thing. For, for giving you up your time for like this. Yeah. No yeah. problem at all. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. No problem. Great. Enjoy. Bye. Thank you, Take Richard. care, folks. Bye. All Thank the best. You. Bye. Bye. Bye.